Hello, poets of the ninth grade class of Met West High School. I'm so delighted to be speaking to you today in honor of your beautiful poetry book, If They Could See Our Minds. A poem is a door that allows us into a heart. I keep mending my own heart and the love inside it. It is a tedious, tender thing to do, crucial. I need my heart to help my mind watch its thoughts. This is why I love the title of your book. Let me say it again. If they could see our minds. In your splendid poems, each of you ask yourselves and the reader to see you through your human need to be seen. I see you. I began writing poetry as a young black girl about how I see myself, how I see another. I was asking myself what I could do to be of use. And when I was 15, I made a vow to serve people. I recognized that my voice was a necessary tool for freedom. I continued to write poetry in high school and college. And then in 1974, my poetry was published. It tells my story as a Black Panther Party member, incarcerated for two years awaiting trial for a murder that I didn't commit. That little book of poetry lived on beyond my release, lived on in my mind, and maybe it helped some to see their own minds. This is the power of poetry, especially that written and read by young people. The young voice is honest, it's clear, and in its self-reflection provides hope for the future of our world. Poetry helps shape Erica, her thinking, saying, doing. Poetry affirmed me as a descendant of Africa, affirmed my womanness, my rebel spirit, helps me to cultivate the qualities of kindness and empathy, helps me to stand and stay standing as a mother, daughter, sister, friend, partner, and human. Poetry is the mic test in the midst of silence. Poetry is the umbilical cord to our deepest self. It is fearless in allowing you to name yourself. It is liberating. In my youth, I read Gwendolyn Brooks, Maya Angelou, James Baldwin, Langston Hughes, County Cullen, Ho Chi Minh, and later, Sonia Sanchez, Nikki Giovanni, Audrey Lord, June Jordan, Cherie Moraga, and Nikki Finney. And when I turned on my radio, the lyrical poetry of Aretha Franklin, Marvin Gaye, Curtis Mayfield, Nina Simone, helped me to identify me and hold her close. Which young poets are you reading? Shanaka Hodge. Tango Eisen Martin, Saul Williams, Ada Limon. Which ones? Are you reading and writing in your own kind of Spanish? In your indigenous language? In Tagalog or in Hindi, Chinese, or Vietnamese? During this long COVID-19 pause, my younger son and I write a short poem, haiku style, every day. Today, is day 92. Last week I wrote a poem to honor Brianna Taylor and Richard Brooks. Here it is. Their kind, our kind, any kind, humankind, close the wounds. Kindness stems bleeding. The same day my son wrote this one, when I was born, I remembered everything, and then life began. Poetry. Thank you, poets, for allowing me into your hearts. Markeisha, for your big-hearted intuition. Sonia, for seeking to love yourself. Elena, for your honesty. Jalen, for honoring meditation. Candy, for seeing freedom in nature. Jidani, for believing in you. Tanaya for resting close to God. Ramses for loving your people. Adamaris for being the oil, not the rust. Leilani for being a dreamer. Iris for building your strength. Catherine for caring for the sweet animals.
I want you to know that you're each of great value. You are brilliant lights and you will be seen because you are immensely good. A reminder from me, love is a great power. Use it to transform your world. Congratulations.